Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for our Idiot's Guide to Woodworking. And what we have here is a little bench I made out of some cedar for some neighbors of mine that have this cedar tree actually cut down on their property. And I decided to do something weird. I got a few pieces, not a bunch, but a few pieces of it. And I decided to make this one into a bench. Um, I did have to just trim this piece here down just a smidgen, um, make it a little bit narrower than what it was, just because it wouldn't fit through my planer. And also, it's about all the room I had to fit on this bench, the wheels like it was to make the bench top. This was very rough sawn. I'm sure if you guys can really tell in the video here or not, but it's extremely rough sawn wood. Um, it was planed down and sanded down smooth on the top here. I'm also not putting a finish on it because they have a couple other boards they made some shelves out of with this same tree, and I wanted to let them put the same finish on it at the time. There's a giant limb that was coming out right here. I pulled out a bunch of the bark and stuff. It's looking gorgeous, that nice little dent. Beautiful, you know, just the sapwood and that in here. Actually, I'm in the shade, I guess. But some beautiful sapwood in here. Absolutely loving it. Um, the bark drop off right here where the tree narrowed gives a beautiful, wonderful look. Um, some nice holes here where the knots and stuff were. It's been like knocked out when it's trimmed up. I didn't straighten the edges out. I didn't do anything. I left it just as raw, raw sawn as I could. That's the way he likes a lot of his stuff. It's super rough. He might actually be a little disappointed in the fact that I sanded this top as smooth as I did. But sitting on it, it's going to cause problems, if nothing else. I didn't want that to be a problem. It's not super thick. It's about an inch thick wood. By the time it's all planed out, maybe an inch and an eighth by the time I got it done. I went ahead and stuck a 2x4 on here. It is pocket hole screwed to the bottom board, just as rigidy. I could probably... I'm going to let them finish the way I want. If it was me, I would paint this 2x8, um, this 2x4, and these 2x6s down here that are the feet. I would paint all those black. I might clear, I would clear coat the wheels. I would not paint them. I like the wagon wheel, that rustic, real old style. I'd put a satin um, clear coat on it. That would be what I would do. Um, other than that, I would do nothing else to it. And I can go ahead and roll this on over, see if you guys can see what I'm doing here. And this is just, I routed out a groove, just like a dado groove, not sure if you can really see, in both the boards. So the wheel spoke sets right down inside the groove, and it's held on by that top 2x8. And it could have been a 2x6 easily, but that's what I had laying around was 2x8. So if a guy was to paint that, if I had extra cedar, and I did, it wasn't from like such a special tree, I would have probably cut some cedar, made the 2x4 out of the cedar and everything, and kind of used all cedar. But that wasn't what I had. So on the back, I could not figure out really what I wanted. I thought about just epoxying that in. And I wanted to let them have the chance to finish it if they wanted to remove it. So it's just screwed in. I would probably pull this off, paint all these washers black also put them back together and then you'd be set. So that's pretty much all there is. The wheels, I just, all I did is took the two by six, laid it up against the wheel and traced out around it, cut it out. And the one thing you can see, there's a little um, extra sanded out spot right here. That's where the bolts are sticking through, or the spokes stick through on the wheel. See the bump here? I wanted to fit as best I could. The backs are squared off. The fronts are rounded, it's a little better look again. I would paint these black and then I would not worry about anything else on there. So that's just about all there is to it. You can see I left the bottom pretty rough again. Um, really nothing major there. Just some cedar wood, but it has a little special meaning to them, Hanks. It came out off their property. So it kind of adds a little something different there. So I'm getting ready to actually carry this up to them. And I'm going to bother putting the truck. I'm going to carry it by hand, see what they want to do, if they want to finish it, how, if they like it, if they don't like it, whatever. If they don't like it, I'm more than happy to keep it myself. If they do like it, Good for them. I'll let them put whatever finish they want on there. So that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Get out there, cut some wood, and make some sawdust.